Hi everyone, today I'll be taking a look at a figure that I've been waiting a very long time for and this is Nagase Mana from Idly Pride or Aipura. I was following the project right when it was first announced and it was QP Flapper's new game that was coming out since I had played Garu Fudento Kakkokari since the day it came out, which is now a decade ago. I started playing that on the day it came out because it was QP Flapper's art design and all of the character designs were by them. QP Flapper did have a few projects here and there during that time, but nothing really kicked off that much. And Idly Pride came along and it was a Music Rain project where all of these seiyu not only voiced the characters but also perform as the characters as well, and they were all under the Music Rain label and it's also under Quali Arts as well. I was really excited to hear that this project was happening and of course the lovely Kanda Sayaka was Mana, which was really, really cool. The final time that she was actually on the Idly Pride livestream was to show the prototype of this figure, so she did actually get to see this, which I was very happy about. I had looked forward to seeing her see the release, but sadly that did not happen. And if anything, I am really glad that even if Idly Pride never gets a figure again, that it was Mana that was chosen. She does come with an acrylic stand as well, but this was sent to me separately. There was quite an issue with the fact that they delayed this figure to December and then the acrylic stand, they couldn't send it together for some reason. I've never bought from Eastream before, so I have no idea if this is normal for them, but she did arrive safely and she did arrive when they said she would, so that's fine. It's just the acrylic stand has been sent separately, apparently. An exclusive acrylic stand was included if you ordered from either eStream's official website or from their Amazon page and I went for that version since I like having the QP Flapper art next to the figure so that the art that it was based on is displayed next to it so it is just a matter of waiting for that to arrive. At the top of the box you can see the logo, and the colour scheme and patterns all over the box are all based on mana and the designs that are typically used on her pages within the game and just in general. It's not the fanciest of boxes, but it's not overly big either. I think it's just the right size, so I'm not too fussed about the box, but it is rather boring, I would say. The back of the box does have a photograph of the figure and also her signature, along with Shibuya Scramble figure, which is the line that this is released under. And the top of the box also has just a silhouette and her signature there as well. The inside of the box is just a plain blue background with some light coming down. It is rather boring, I think that it would have been really nice to see the same background that QB Flapper used on their illustration of her, the one with all of the jewels hanging down. If they did use it on the back of the box, it would have been nice to see that carry over onto the inside. But this is what she looks like inside of her packaging and she doesn't really come with anything except for her microphone, that is the only part that needs to be attached to her. I was actually really impressed with how she was packaged. There were foam pieces within her hair which stops hair from getting broken or damaged. Like with all Idly Pride items and albums and things, it comes with a code to receive an in-game shogo, which is the figure called New Shagente Shogo for people that ordered this figure. Idly Pride albums always come with these where you get items within the game for actually purchasing real life things. You get a little title saying that you own this album or you own this figure, which is really cool. I've never seen any other games do that. I've always really appreciated Idly Pride for that reason. And here we have Nagase Mana outside of her packaging and put together on her base with her microphone. There was nothing too difficult about assembling her and she fits very nicely into the base. There were no issues with the pegs. I have to say I am beyond impressed with this figure. I've never bought a figure from Eastream before and I have heard things about them and I would never have considered buying anything from them just because they don't make anything from games that I like, but Idly Pride just so happened to get a figure from them and it was of course Mana so I could not pass on this and I'm really glad I didn't because she looks fantastic. She looks just like the prototype that Kanda Sayaka very excitedly showed on the live stream and I can see why they've done an amazing job at replicating QP Flapper's illustration and really capturing QP Flapper's 
colouring style and the way they draw faces. I really, really like the look of this figure. Her face, like I said, they've done a fantastic job at just pretty much taking Cupid Flapper's illustration and replicating it directly onto this face with decals. It looks fantastic. The blushing is there as well and her facial expression is really accurate to the illustrations in the game too. I think they've really nailed the colour of her hair since depending on the illustration it can look more grey or more blue but the blue one tends to be more accurate especially with this outfit. I'm really impressed. The sculpting is really nice. I think she looks so much better in person. The photographs really didn't do her justice. The sculpting on the back is actually very clean. The hair flows really well. There are two strands here that kind of stick out which are separate to the rest of the hair but it's not a major issue and she has her feather earrings. These are also really nice to look at and they're slightly textured as well. You can just about see one of them behind her hair but they've really gone all out in the tiny details on this figure. Her choker looks really good. I'm really impressed with the sculpting around her chest and also her arms. You can really see the muscles from where her shoulders are and joined up to her neck. I think this is really well sculpted and the shading is really nice. I feel like it's been a long time since I bought a figure that has really good shading so I'm really really pleased with this. Even her fingernails are ever so slightly glossy so you can see her nails there and even the tips of her fingers have been shaded exactly the same way. That Cupid Flapper draws her. Her microphone is also nicely textured, there's nothing too much going on there but it slots nicely into her hand. I'm not sure if that will have any pay transfers, I'm hoping it doesn't but it fits very well into her hand, there were no issues there, there's no pegs involved either. I'm really impressed with her dress. All of the feathers have been shaded and textured really really well. The gem, the heart shaped gem that is on the front of her dress looks really good, there's no paint issues there. And the different textures that are going on in her dress as well, I think they've gone for a slightly different approach to what is in the illustration and I'm really happy about that. They've actually made it more interesting than the illustration shows. The white parts of her dress have been textured, which isn't really visible in the illustrations in the game. This looks really good contrasted with the no texture fabric that is on the rest of the dress, along with the belts and the black frills as well. Those are all just plain and painted, whereas the white parts, they've actually opted for a textured pattern rather than leaving it the same as the illustration. And I think that was a really good choice. And the feathers continue underneath the dress flows really nicely so you can see those feathers actually from underneath without having to lift up the figure. They're visible the whole way around and the dress is really well sculpted. The flow of the dress is really accurate. This is Mana's signature dress and this is what she is famous for within the game. So it's really nice and quite heartwarming in a way to see this dress in 3D and replicated so well. My only gripe with this figure is the base. This is the most boring base I've ever seen. This is prize figure level of base and I have no idea if Eastream usually do this with their figures or not. The fact that there is such a fantastic figure standing atop such a boring base is really sad. I will definitely add some things myself to this. I definitely think that it's a massive waste. At least her name could have been written on this or something, or the signature that they kept including on the box. I don't know why they didn't just print her signature in pink or silver or something. I don't understand why they just did white plastic. It's really cheap looking and just reminds me of a prize figure. The boots themselves look really good. She stands really well on the base, the base holds her really nicely, but it's just so boring. It would have been nice to see the love and care that they put into this figure translate into the base as well, I really don't know what went wrong there. The skin underneath her dress as well has been shaded really well. I'm so impressed with the shading and the sculpting of this figure, but in particular the skin in her body has been sculpted very, very well. I really didn't know what to expect and I had no idea whether it was one of those figures that would turn out completely different to the photos, but she looks even better than the photos and I'm really happy about that. I really appreciate all of what Idly Pride has done for Kanda Sayaka and the fact that she put so much love and care into this character and the fact that they continued 
to have her voice be the voice of Mana and not change that and continue to put out illustrations of her and continue to have her as part of the story, continue to have her voice clips even used in new parts of the story, that was really good. This character really does mean a lot to many people. She definitely meant the most to Kanda Sayaka and to see her as such a lovely figure and to see her just get such nice treatment even all this time later and even though Kanda Sayaka isn't here to see the release of this figure that she was so excited about a year before. I'm just really grateful to Idly Pride and also for Eastream making this figure. I've never bought from them and I always tend to hear negative things about them so I'm not too sure but I'm just really pleased that at least they put in the right amount of effort for this one character if anything so I'm very very impressed with this figure and beyond pleased that I bought her. She pretty much is going to be the pride of my collection and it's just a lovely way to remember Mana and Kanda Sayaka and have something in physical form to remember her by. I think this is a really really wonderful figure and I hope that everyone else who loved Kanda Sayaka and Mana also decided to pick up this figure because she really really is worth it. I'm so pleased that she turned out so well. I apologize that the review did get a little bit long but I did have a lot to say about this character I hope you enjoyed the video, thank you very much for watching until the end, and I hope to see you all in the next video. Bye!